So hi everyone, good day. So today we'll be looking at how to use our stoning board on our Ankara patches. So as you can see, this Ankara has a little uh, patch design that we can cut out. So first thing you are going to do is you cut out the pattern you want, the patches on the Ankara. And another thing is when you are doing an Ankara patches, you can make sure if you are using a quality stones, make sure you get a quality Ankara fabric that won't wash. You understand so that it will prevent your timing and the cost of your stone so that you won't finish work and the person will wear the outfit or when you are putting on when you are doing um ankara patches with jean and you later finish the work and the person will wear the outfit and discover the jean is watch, uh, washing this is something that has happened to me i really trust the the person selling the material so i got the jean and i work on ankara patches so after that i really trust the jeans i started working on it without even washing the jean the ankara was good actually it was a small ankara but the ankara was not washing at all but the jean was washing it was the jean that now spoils the ankara that i used to design the outfit so first thing first get the quality fabric so the second thing is so let's cut the patches out I'm using this. <laughs> Another thing is that, okay, let me use this. It really wastes a lot of fabric when you're working on Ankara patches. So we'll be cutting it out. You trace it at the edge of what you want. So when you cut this, you interface it with either um, SD, paper stay or gum stay. So I'm going to trim this out now. So I haven't cut this out, you can see, I've cut two patterns out. So the next thing you are going to do is, you can use a million board, there's a board, I can send the picture of that board. The board has a million, it has just had uh, dotted, dotted, dotted lines, it doesn't have any design, it's just plain, like this, but has multiple dotted lines, they call it million board, it doesn't have any design as such on it, so it's just plain. So you can, if it is that million board you have, if you are much in ready to wear, you can buy that and start, you buy crepe material, you can use crepe, you can use just any plain material, you can use polish, you can use uh, cashmere, any plain material, you can, you can use duchess and start making the shift dress, long one, short one, and do your Ankara pattern on it, Ankara patches on it, then you stone it to bring out more beauty of the outfit. So now, now I don't have, um, multiple stone pattern so i'm using this board i have so you can use what you have not necessarily wasting your time so with this board now what i'm going to do is that i will fill this with stone then cut it out place it on this to cut out my design even if you don't have this flower design you can make use of this too all you need what is important is this pattern having stone on it do you get me this pattern having stone on it, like this one that has a circle design, I can easily make stone, put stone around the air, cut it, transfer it into a transfer sheet, then make sure that this circle here enters this design. You understand? After doing it. Mm? Likewise, me doing this, cut this out, or using this neckline too. You can see, I can use this neckline, put stone on it, then cut it out, place it here on it. But you know, when I use the neckline, to do, when I use this place, this flower will be the main beauty of the um, of the patches. Are you getting me? So I can also do it like this, but so so that you can understand me better what I'm trying to say. So let me use this love design for one. Then I'm going to use another one for the other one, so that you understand me more clearly. So this is the design. I'm going to transfer it into the transfer sheet. So after I'll place it on the Ankara fabric. So before placing it on the Ankara fabric, make sure you've put stay. This is gum stay. This is gum stay, you can use gum stay. And after you've put gum stay, you can give a embroidery or if you have zigzag machine, you can use it to tape this down. I would advise you do all this before putting your stone because if you put your stone first before doing the stitching doing the embroidery or the zigzag stitching 
um, it can be breaking your needle. You even you won't even enjoy the sewing at all. So that's the best way. Just um, do the stitching. Stitch it on the fabric first before putting your stone. So now I will remove this. Okay. Is the stone we transfer it into our transfer sheets then now you now place it on your fabric I see so before I place it on my fabric you can see I've put the so imagine me this is my um my plain um, outfit so I've stitched it down with the um, zigzag machine or embroidery you can do tinkle for your small phone if they won't collect much it depends on the pattern you are doing then you place it on it so i will use my stove iron we don't have light right now so i'll use my stove iron to gum this on it now i'll show you what it looks like here comes the finishing hope you can see so i've put the paper stay at the back then just to show you hmm? imagine this is an outfit i am on the outfit can you see so the way i do this too i can do this too like this you understand 